Hi everyone, welcome to another lesson at Mmm English. I'm your teacher, Emma. In today's lesson, I'm taking you on a tour of the kitchen. We're going to learn and practice some important kitchen vocabulary and how to pronounce it. Learning and practicing these words will help you to easily understand my lessons, recipes, and help you improve your vocabulary. Ready? Let's go! This is the refrigerator or the fridge. The fridge. Down here is the freezer. It's where we keep ice cream and make ice. The freezer. Here is the sink. This is the tap. And the sink is where we wash the dishes. If you're lucky, you have one of these. A dishwasher. A dishwasher. Here is a cupboard. There are three cupboards above the sink. This is the microwave. the microwave and here is the pantry. The pantry is where I keep my food. There are four shelves here. This is one shelf. There are four shelves in my kitchen. This is where I make my toast. It's called the toaster. This is my kettle. I use it to make hot water. It's the kettle. And here is my mortar and pestle. I use it to grind seeds and herbs. It's my mortar and pestle. Here is a very important part of my kitchen. This is my stove. I have a gas stove. So when I light the stove, it makes fire. If you have an electric stove, you turn on the stove to heat your food. And below my stove is my oven. This is where I bake and roast meat and vegetables. This is called the bench top. The bench top. And here are three drawers. This is a drawer. This drawer is the cutlery drawer. The cutlery is my forks, my knives, my spoons. Together is the cutlery. This is the fruit bowl. It's where I keep my fruit. It's my fruit bowl. Here is my coffee machine or my coffee maker. And there is one more fridge in my kitchen. A small fridge that has 
only drinks in it. It's called a bar fridge. The bar fridge. And there is one more part to my kitchen that's outside. And this is the barbecue. It's where I cook meat and vegetables outside. It also uses gas. So here is my gas bottle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and you've learnt lots of new vocabulary from our kitchen. You can find more lessons, courses and recipes on my website at mmenglish.com and I'd love to hear from you on my Facebook page. See you next time.